Hey guys, my name is Lakia Maria and welcome to another video here on my channel. Whether you're new to the channel or an OG, I primarily share planning and organizational videos and today I'm bringing you guys along as I am shopping at Target for some bedroom storage. Ever since I moved, I've been living out of bags and enough is enough. I need some type of drawer system to easily be able to access my things and really just organize it better because when I was packing, it was just a lot of stuff being thrown into bags at the end and I just need to go through everything and see what it is that I have. So I was thinking of getting a dresser, but I don't want to commit to any furniture. One, because I don't want to put it up. And two, because I don't know exactly the next space that I'm going to be moving into. And who knows if the furniture that I buy now will go with the aesthetic of what I'm going for at a later date. So I'm just getting some storage containers now, some basic Sterlite ones. And even in moving, these Sterlite ones could be used for storage in my next place as well. So it's not like they're going to go to waste. So I did go to Walmart first wasn't feeling it so here i am at target thought i'd bring you guys along so let's go okay so i found this one not exactly what i'm looking for i also have it in brown don't want any of these this one isn't bad but the handle the handle's broken i don't even know how much this one is. I'm gonna have to scan some stuff. Then there's these clear ones over here. Ah, <sighs> Walmart's not just, it's just not doing it for me. Like these, I just don't, that's like living out of a tub. Suitcases, no. Then there's this kind of stuff, but that's what I'm trying to avoid. Hmm, oh, that's cool. Not that I need it. Okay. Alright, we're gonna get out of here and go to Target. Cause this is just not doing it for me. Not at all. Let's okay, go. So these room essential ones, I don't like the sizing. But these brown ones over here, these are $40, pretty deep. I could get two of these. I could get two of these, so that's an option. And then these over here are $18.99. So these are more narrow. These are 12 and 5 eighths in width versus these, which are 20 inches in width. So for space wise though, $19, getting basically two of these for the price of this one. And I can also hang stuff up in the closet. This is an option definitely for me. So here's the room essentials one on the floor. It's too small. It's gonna be entirely too small. So price-wise, while I'm trying to save a pinch, it just doesn't make sense. So, looks like I'm gonna be getting this one. And it looks like it has like little legs to it, which is interesting. Okay, I think I'm gonna get this one. Debating on whether I wanna get one or two. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. But I think, hmm, I'm trying to think of how much stuff I have that needs to be put away. I have t-shirts, I have underwear, I have tank tops, workout stuff. I do have quite a bit of clothes. Um, in my old closet, I used open shelving. I had built-in shelves in my closet and I just put a lot of my stuff there. So, I don't have that same option in the new closet. So I'm just gonna, get two of these and if anything I can always return one if I don't need it but realistically I believe I'm gonna need two so <sighs> but then there's the ones like these and this is what I don't want to put together I also have handbags and stuff I'm gonna have to find a storage solution for that but mm, they don't really have anything else like this is it and you can see how small 
It is. I'm gonna sit them next to each other. Let me see. So putting them side by side, you can really see how small this one is. But I'm thinking of possibly getting one of those instead of two of these. But then I can always come back if I need another one. I don't want to have a whole bunch of extra containers. So we're just going to go with this one for now. So I thought Walmart didn't have any options, but Target ain't that much better. And it's like, even their other solutions, which is what I don't want, even those are limited. So it's like nothing spectacular when they have going on in the storage department. So I'm going to go and get me some lunch and then keep searching and I will bring you guys along for that part too. <laughs> All right, so the search is over. I'm glad I didn't pay $40 for those containers. I went to another Target, got these for under 20 each and I didn't want to spend over $50 for storage. So came in under budget and I got to work when I needed to. So sometimes it just takes a little more hunting, but now it's time for me to unpack, really unpack and see how much I can fit into these two. I don't really want to get a third one. So we're going to have to make it work with the two of these. All right, then I also got this shower caddy. I love this one because this part comes out. And then you have this part too. So if I wanted to just keep this separate, I could. And in total, how much did I spend? In total, I spent $52. So this caddy was cheaper than what I thought. The storage carts were $17 each. And then this was under 10 bucks. This was $8. So I thought that this was more expensive. You always got to scan stuff before you buy at Target because they don't be in the right place. So this is the two-in-one shower caddy, eight bucks great find they had another one that was smaller but i figured this would be able to hold everything from my toiletry bag so now i can really unpack but in total i spent 52 dollars and 88 cents including tax so this used to be my old planner bag i got a new one i mentioned that in another vlog i will link that below for you guys to check out but this toiletry bag is huge and i could leave everything in here but it's too much going on. So I have like, I think I may need like my extra body washes in here because I do have them like everywhere. So I may end up putting my overflow inside of here, but for like my essentials that I use on a regular, I'm going to try to cram it all into here. All right. So here's what I have in the caddy so far. I just have some moisturizing stuff and my deodorant here. All of my bathroom stuff here that I use on a regular you know, body wash, toothpaste, and all that good stuff. This was on TikTok that I saw. They have another, um, I think it's like a green one. I'm very sensitive when it comes to mouthwashes. So this one hasn't been bothering me. So kudos to that. And then back here, I have like facial stuff and razors. And I need to re-up on my witch hazel. So I could further organize this. But for now, this is fine. I can't like micro-organize everything at this moment. I just need to get it unpacked. And then I can go further and adjust the system if need be so this is what i managed to get through tonight i do have a couple more things i want to hang up but this is it i'm not gonna beat myself up about it so up here i have like pajamas under garments and all that more shorts tees and then sweatpants and jeans so that is it then I have stuff over here I need to go through. And then these two bins are from Five Below. And this one has like an overflow of like fall winter stuff. And then that one is dirty clothes. But I'm going to end up sitting that one in the closet. And then coming over here to the closet. This is all that I have in here so far. And I am using the felt hangers to try to save some space. Still didn't take my coats out. Still have some stuff downstairs. But... If I need to do anything, I could take my jeans out of there and then make that additional storage. And then up here, I um, just have my everyday bag, my caddy, and then my overflow toiletry bag. And I sat the containers on top of each other. So even if I got two more, they were $18 each, so not that bad. But 
I'm trying not to get another set. This is just what I decided to do for now. I don't have to go through bags. I do have this bag that I need to fold up, but this stuff is coming downstairs to my office, but that's it. Not too bad. Another day, another Target run. I've been to Target three days this week but i'm finally getting somewhere with the storage solution the one target that i went to that i got the drawers from they seem to have everything in stock so i got the two drawers as you guys saw but then i realized that i have all this closet space that i need to maximize so i got some organizers for that that i'm going to show you and then i also got these i got these s hooks and these shower rings the rod in this closet is pretty thick, so I thought that I could just put these on there to help free up some of the space in the drawers and to store my jeans. These will also work for handbags if I need them to, but these are too thick. To, these are too thin, I should say, to go on the rod. So I got these shower rings, which will help with that and help to maximize the space there. And then I can free up that bottom drawer because I'm trying to get rid of this basket that I have all of my sweaters in. I need to be able to see my stuff. So right now things are unpacked, but now that they're unpacked, I need to further organize. Realistically, having everything out, I don't need to because it's about to be winter and it's cold here on the East Coast. So I don't need to have like my sandals and stuff out, but some of the things I will keep stored in a container but I still have bags of my accessories and things that I do want to unpack I don't want to leave them in bags because then it's like am I even using this stuff I'm sure that I'm going to end up doing another purge anyway of my stuff like my closet stuff my clothes my closet stuff my clothes and whatnot I'm just looking around at what else I'm going to purge but I'm hoping that these closet store solutions get me in the right direction to really just start organizing and getting things fully unpacked so these are the two organizers that I got. Both together were under $20. I'll have them linked below. So this one is a six pocket organizer. I have my shoes in them right now. Probably gonna take out the sandals. My Crocs are not going anywhere. I'm still gonna be wearing those. And then my slippers down there. And then this one, I have some of my hats and then my handbags. And I'm gonna try to squeeze more handbags inside of here and then down there i have my clothes on felt hangers which help to save space and then here is where i'm going to put those hooks for my jeans which will then free up that drawer that i can put my sweaters inside but that's about it nothing too crazy but a solution that i'm hoping will work all right and then for how i am using the shower rings and the s hooks this is very much so like a binder ring. And then I just hook it onto here, hook it onto the waist of the jeans, not enough to the point where it's going to hang and alter the belt strap. It'll be fine. And then I can just hang them up like this. I didn't want to hang them on the felt hanger, so this is the perfect solution. And I've seen this online on Pinterest, so I'm gonna test it out for myself. So that is it for this vlog. Thank you guys for coming along on this organizational journey. If you want to see more, stay tuned for more of my vlogs, which I will be posting on Sundays. Be sure to check out all the links in the description box. I will have links to what it is that I purchased from Target, plus other related videos. I would love to hear from you guys in the comments. What are your storage solutions that you swear by? Love finding new tips. If you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And for all of you that are, I thank you. I love you guys. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.